Hello and welcome back to the Bosmer. Last time we got a lot of Khajiit and we have a lot on our list to have a look at and this time we need to get some more. So what I think we should do is we should potentially start by raiding. If we do a little raiding of Dune here, we can potentially grab some more and maybe forcibly convert some, maybe do some things like that. That's probably a sensible thing. We don't really need more land. We already have two bits of land here that we got. So let's let's get these, convert them. Let's get some ra people raided and let's see how things go. So let's go. Scheme at court. Oh no. Well, whatever. Uh, anything in here we need to worry about? Nope. Okay. Make sure that we're leading. And we'll just start walking ourselves around. Let's start with their capital. Or their new capital. Uh, you want some more funds to create something better. Sure. You know, that's fine. Wait, do I have a truce with you? Uh, I do have a truce with you, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, I can't raid you. Oh, I can't raid you. Well, let's head back and then maybe go to elsewhere. Yeah, let's disband. Uh, how many troops does elsewhere have right now? 28,000. That's going to be close. <laughs> that's going to be very close. Uh, let's move over here. Let's maybe do like a couple of quick raids and then we'll see how things go after that. So let's start with this army. Make sure we're leading. In we go. We raid it, we leave immediately. Are you um, raising troops? Don't think so. It's fine. So we'll head back. We got some stuff. Uh, attentive care that gives us disease resistance. Okay. So now I'm looking at this one. Uh, where's the... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so, go in. Raid. Um, we want bounty as plunder. That's fine. Head in here. Raid. Fickle F um, Philip. I bump into a grave-looking Irond, my weaponsmith, and hope that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid staff she should have soon have ready for me. I've hit a wall in my work. Nothing major. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts. I just need some inspiration. Might you have some prime prior examples I could examine? And give her some uh, alcohol. Okay, say to the armory, just the tonic or real inspiration comes from within. Yeah, let's go to the armory. That's fine. Um, you found my magnificent crown. Could, could, could I use its metal? Uh, no. You're just having a look. Yeah, you're not, you're not using the crown's metal. Are you crazy? Right, let's go further in here. They don't appear to be raising any troops to actually stop us, so this seems fine. I don't know why they're not raising any troops, but like, you know... Let's uh, not worry. Let uh, sleeping lions lie as it is. Okay. You have two children who are not going to join here. Uh, so we'll do a little conversion and we'll send you back. You? You could be here. You're a monk. Ah. Uh, that's, a, that's a problem. Can I convert you? I can. Uh, we could recruit you as well. You know what? Sure, we'll recruit you. Just increase the number of cats around. And then you, 16. Yeah, let's do a conversion recruition. Um, re <laughs> I said the same thing last episode. Uh, a conversion recruit. I'm I just am smashing words together and seeing what happens. Right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, got anyone in here? Anyone, anyone. Uh, let's see. So you, you are still a monk. I can't make you not a monk. I could uh, seduce you. I mean, that sounds interesting, I suppose. If we seduce the cat... Are we, we're still capable of having children, I think, right? We should be. Well, no, we won't, because we'll be 163. Never mind, we're not We're not going to... We, if we take 100 years off, we'd be 63, so we're not still capable. That's fine. Uh, so just thinking there. It was a potential option. Where's the other cat? The other cat. You. You're 16. See, I think I might be able to find someone for you to marry, which is why I think this is a good idea. Yeah. This guy seems fine. This guy seems fine. Neither of them have any uh, genetic traits. Inheritable. Ooh. That looks good. Genius and acute. Okay, let's bring you to court. Meet him chance of children. That seems fine. So we'll send proposal. Wait for a second or two. That's fine. I'm also just going to mark you down there as potential, uh, potentially someone to check back in on. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, so we could move through here and start raiding. I, might, I would take attrition if I did that, though. So anywhere else I could raid here where I wouldn't take attrition from them? Not really, no. Okay, well, um, just disband then. Yeah, that's fine. We, we got some cats. That's all we're looking for. Could potentially raid Skingrad. It looks like the Heartlands have fallen apart again. They're currently attacking someone in a war for a barony. Okay, yes, yeah, so all of that's fallen apart again up here. It'll probably uh, condense in a generation or two again. We could do a raid along here. It's been a while since we've done like a raid on the, these guys. So, yeah, that seems like a good idea. It's something to do. It gets us some money. Seems like a good idea. Let's open our domain holdings as well to see if we've got everything built. Um, we should have everything built in our holdings, in theory. Yeah. This one. Ah, we have. Oh, we don't have any available buildings for this slot. Really? Thought we could do more than one building in our. Like, why can we not build in this slot? Huh. It's interesting. Oh, so that's, that's the one it converted into. It said it was converting it into a city, right? Maybe it did something weird in the background. Yeah. Maybe academies are like reskinned cities in the background or something, and then it's done something weird. I'm just trying to find a, a logical reason why it could have gone weird. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it went weird, which is really all that matters in the long run, because, you know, not a lot we can do about it. Uh, all of those are fine. Water dance. Oh, one more to upgrade. That's the final upgrade there in Moonmont. So that's fine. Down River. You're fully upgraded. Death Song. Oh, we got a couple of upgrades left here. And then Vine Dusk, we're fine. Then we can check our vassals, just quickly go through. Yeah, so your academy we can improve to get. Uh, popular opinion seems good. Let's do that. Or maybe you can only build one academy building, and then that's an academy. Maybe it works like that. As in, like, that's a, that's a fully finished academy, and then maybe you can do something with it now. Now that we've finished one. I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to find reasons why it could be like this. Uh, that, that make any sense in my head. Currently, those are the best guesses I have. Uh, whether any of them are true or not, you know, who knows. That's fine. Uh, and then this one. Yeah, we're working on it. Cool. Inspiration realized you made me an Arenthi staff. 15 prowess! Wow, that's incredible. Well done. So instead of 6 prowess, we get... 15 and 25% pursuit efficiency. Pursuit is the thing that lets you kill units. So, you know, you get to the stage of combat where everyone's fighting, right? Then when you win it, there's that extra stage where they're retreating. This is what allows you to be more efficient in that stage and then kill more people. So, I would guess in theory that's like 25% more people. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. So, our base prowess is now 52. Oh, that's good. That's good. Or schemers. That's fine. Uh, let's raise some raiders. Let's uh, go test out our new prowess. Yo, up here. They probably won't fight us, but that's fine. Do a raid here. Next one. Call to war. Uh, the tree thane of Woodharth. Okay, we're attacking. Oh, wait, are we attacking? Tree thane of Woodharth. Did you not just attack for this? Oh, for the whole thing? Oh, for the duchy. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I suppose we'll head over there. Um, yeah, down here. No, 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 no. So, down here, through here, through here, down... Wait. I'm, a, I'm in Malab... All right, you know what? Head back to base. I'll figure it out once you're there. I accept. Right. Ah, we're at war with... Sylvanar, but only kind of? Okay. Right. Scheme at court, that's okay. Walk ourselves down here. We're no longer raiders, so now this should be acceptable. Uh, that would also be fine, but if we're doing that, we might as well just go to their capital. How many men do they have? 13,000. Yeah, whatever. We'll win. There we go. Scheme at court. We'll ignore that one. Or schemes at court. Commanders are all improving significantly. How good are our commanders, by the way? 
we've been improving them for a while. Like 42. Wow, look at this. Everybody who's being used is like huge. Like they're so far ahead. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, uh, is this going to be fine? Yeah, a little boat bomb probably won't hurt. I mean, it'll hurt a little bit, but that should be fine. So yeah, look at this. So people are being used. We have one that's 11, but everyone else is like in the 40s. It's incredible. And they have, yeah, well, they have some that are pretty good, but I think we'll still win. This is a this is a risky move we've done here, though, because we do take a penalty for, um, yeah, for landing from boats. Okay, they're winning. Oh no, they're, they might actually win. I think they will actually, yeah. We're gonna have to retreat. So, uh, how did that go for us? We killed 4,000, lost 4,000, but yeah, unfortunately we lost the uh, battle. So we're actually retreating down here. That's okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, just a little loss. Now we can summon Dramora. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Um, what does that allow us to do? Summon Dramora. Summons a Dramora from the nearest realm of Oblivion. Oh. I think it just summons like a courtier, doesn't it? Yeah, from last time we did it. So, interesting. By last time, I mean in the previous playthrough. <laughs> but yeah, interesting. Uh, how many troops do we have compared to them? Yeah, so we have more. Uh, so actually that 4,000 for 4,000 kind of hurt them pretty badly. We don't have taken war score yet, but we could potentially sneak in here and just do a little siege. Yeah. It should give us a little bit towards what we're looking for. Culture's discovered barracks. Ooh, wonderful. So barracks was the last one we had here. Do we need any of this? Mustering grounds is really useful. 12 years on that. Yeah, let's go 12 years mustering grounds. But what then that allows us to do is now we've done that... Uh, we can go in here and we can actually upgrade all of these buildings to the next level and get just a huge upgrade in power. That's great. Let's let's just do as much of that as we can. Uh, of course, they have to have actually built a barracks building, which uh, apparently I was uh, allergic to at some point, given that I apparently haven't. But yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right. Over here, finish our siege. How are we looking? Don't aren't able to fought, assault the fort yet. Um, your jester known for her fantastically entertaining insults. As it happens, she is standing face to face with my courtier just in time to hear a particularly scathing row, uh, roast. You brash rue and cocky churl, your foolishness and wickedness are legendary. I had a perfectly wonderful evening with good company up until now, you skirt chaser. Um, Harmolith says as if possessed by the Oathbreakers. Nedthian's face is red, but he knows that I'm watching, so he manages some pained laughter. Um, let's gain some opinion as well. Okay, cool. Keep going. Keep going. Just want to get the siege done. Nice. So we've helped out. We captured a prisoner. Uh, we can let go for a little conversion. And then we want to just retreat, ideally back to our allies' territories, so like up here. Yeah, so let's go this way, and let's retreat back so we can re uh, get some supply. This is fine. Outliving a child? What? Princess Harwen is dead. She died from her internal injuries. Oh, wow. Okay. There are 145. Our genius heir died. Which now means that our heir is not from the main line of children. Our heir is now her husband, also our great-grandson, who is pure-blooded, handsome, and acute. Okay. Well, um, we need to find him someone to marry, basically. You could marry the granddaughter of Queen uh, Edherine, who is also uh, acute. Spindly is not ideal, though. Yeah, I'd rather not have Spindly. But... Um, is she in line to succession? Just as a, a curiosity. I'm not really that interested in getting the land, but her parent is him. Whose parent is... Uh, uh, it would be you. 
No, so it needs to go down this path, right? Oh, wait, no, that's fine. Yeah, look at... Right. Back. Uh... Yeah, so it goes from... So it need to go from you to Urdan. So you... Urdan... Uh, oh, it would go down this path? Yeah, it would go down this path to my granddaughter, Fainir. Yeah, so it, it doesn't actually go down um, that path anyway. So it's not like it would be inheriting land or anything. Okay, so what do we want for him? Cute, handsome... I don't know what we want. Genius would not be terrible, although we don't really want to marry into um, a non-elf line. Let's see what we got. Beautiful. Well, that, that doesn't... Stack with handsome. Although, yeah, again, non-elves. A lot of these are non-elves. Ooh. Genius and comely? That'd be in... Oh, no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Back out, back out. Uh, let's do a little search here. Let's go for culture. And make that Bosmeri heritage. And just see if that helps us a little bit. Destitute. Wow, it seems forsaken by magic itself as she cannot command magic without great strain. Ooh. Destitute is a great word for it, though. For you, genius? Yeah, that, that would seem fairly alright. Your stats are pretty good. Yeah, a little possessed, but you know, that seems fine. Chance of a lot of traits being passed down. Yeah, this seems good. Let's get, let's get that marriage going. How does our succession look right now? Imagine a little bit messed up. Yeah, everybody gets a piece of it. That's fine. Right. Head up this way. Head all the way up. Okay. Now we're going to do a little splitting up here. Just working out where everyone needs to go. Uh, so it'll be something like there. 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 And there. Let's go. So everyone spreads out. And we won. Nice. Okay. Well, that saves us having to uh, resupply. Great. And that has now got us a new dynasty legacy. So we can get private army. Max number of men-at-arms regiments goes up by one. Yes. Fantastic. And we have now finished the warfare tree. Great. So, that means that we have an extra Men at Arms one, and it also unlocked, um, what was it? House Guard? It's House Guard of 5440, and you get 100. 5440, 100. 5440, 100. 3712, 100. So these guys are better, in theory. Like, they don't get the bonuses while you're in uh, the different terrains, but they do just have straight up better stats. Okay, and they counter things that we don't already have counters for. They counter spearmen and archers. Well, you counter skirmishers and mages. And you counter spearmen and heavy infantry. So basically, it gives us an archer counter. Yeah, I think we, we go for the house guard. I don't think there's much reason to worry. Now, let's just go straight for that. Right, uh, those are building. Let's just do a quick check in all of our holdings as well for other uh, holdings that we can now upgrade, like that one. Just because we should have a lot we can upgrade, given that we got a building upgrade thing. Um, yeah, let's go for that. And that. So just checking our money. We are a little low comparative to where we have been in the past, but that's okay. Get uh, all of those upgraded. This one we can upgrade, even though it's in some kind of, you know, dispute. That's fine. It's not our dispute, so that's okay. We can upgrade this one, upgrade this one, and one last thing to upgrade, so let's upgrade that one. Right, now we're out of money. Cool, so all of that sorted itself. Well, what is the internal war? Uh, attacking Grimwatch in the war against the tyranny. Oh, okay, that's fair. Right, so let's chill, let our troops reinforce. Maybe then we'll go to Anvil. Or we could finish Skingrad, I suppose. Or, actually, because our truce is done, we could raid Dune. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to lower our stress. It's fine. We could possibly uh, call a hunt or something if we want to lower it, but I'm not that worried about it. Right. Um, yeah, let's, ra let's raid uh, Dune. Yeah, given that we can. 
Let's, let's go raise local raiders. Get them all ready. And we're leading. So yeah, let's just go raid. Oh, one thing I just remembered. Do we have all of these positions filled? No, we have one that isn't. Fantastic. Oh, I could put a cat in charge. That's kind of cool. Let's do it. Right, you are now my new High Alm owner. That's fine. Right, everything seems okay. You've already converted one of the two bits of land that we got, so go convert the other. That seems great. The culture will convert in seven months. Nice. Oh, port event. Oh, how could you dare put them in charge? Yeah, whatever. It's the event that says, I want it to be in charge of something. And then you go, I don't care. And they go, well, that's fair. Move on if you like. Masterful juggling. My jester is juggling again. That's cool. Yep, nothing we need to do with that. Clear those off. Right. How are you looking? Seven years old? You are still the same culture and religion. Huh. You're still... Oh, you're not being educated. Oh, because you were being educated by my daughter. Of course. Right, you're, you're now going for what type of education? A learning education. So let's maybe go for... Oh, I want them to be my uh, culture as well. There we go. So you would be a great person to do it. Convert culture, convert faith. Let's go. Right. Let's see how that goes. Fire and blood. Um, yeah, bring me some more plunder. That's fine. Um, we'll walk through here and then head down to these ones. Right. Got it. Uh, then down here. Let's raid the next one. Then we can raid the next one in here as well. And the next one. Oh, capture the prisoner. Wonderful. Uh, do a little mark. Let's negotiate release. Dema oh, wait. Um, never mind. Don't need to mark. Uh, which one are you? You're this one. Yeah. Never mind. Let's just do a demand conversion and release. That's fine. Uh, you have promoted culture. Great. So now we're going to promote culture in the new one down here. That'll take eight years, but that'll be fine. Settle our own people there. So this is now our culture. It's got high development. That's going to help us overall. Right. Oh, that's not a border? Oh, interesting. Well, at least I can raid all these ones around the edge. That's fine. Yeah, we're capturing some more people. Raid over here. Eight. Can I recruit you? I can. Perfect. Let's uh, demand conversion recruit. Plus a little mark. There we go. Uh, anyone else? Nope, that was it. All right, next one. So we now have this guy. Let's now do a... Um, yeah, remove guardian. Followed by educate child. We're doing a martial education. Uh... I suppose I don't really care how good the education is. Let's make it you. Well, I suppose I do care how good it is, actually. That's fine, because I, I, I forgot we kind of care in general how good they are. Um, Not you, not you, not you, not you. Looking for anyone with a positive trait here. Because we're filtered by our culture, that's why it's so, like, odd trying to find anyone. Uh... Get down to the point where I'm just going to give it to the person who's best at uh, Marshall. One, uh, let's go three more people. One, two. Yeah, okay. Give up. Just choose the person who's best at Marshall. It's going to be you. Right. Convert culture. Send it across. So we have yet another person who could end up uh, being in control of some land. Nice. Next one. Also, how you feeling about converting over to the new one? Nope. Just thought I'd check while we were here. Might he, there's a chance he can convert to local culture, I think. Um, yeah, let's head down here while we're here. Just grab it. Will not accuse. That's fine. Down to the next one. Smoothing things over. Uh, my lady, a moment of your time. I've gotten a good impression of on what your courtiers think of you and what makes you tick. With that knowledge, I can try and smooth things over with one of these groups. So, female courtiers, male courtiers, every vassal, or I do not care. 
Let's go every vassal. Cool. Child of my dynasty, Denwin. This is my player heir's heir, who appears to have nothing. Uh, despite having four potential inheritable traits, they have nothing. I can ask for money now as well. Fainir can marry. Fainir... Um, my granddaughter, she's got beautiful. Uh, this is fine. Let's go for... I don't know. Let's, let's try and bring in... Some, let's try and bring in a genius if we've got one. We don't have a genius. Let's bring in a um, yeah, an intelligent. Bring one of those into the uh, yeah, into the realm. That's okay. This is all fine. Thank you for the money. Got this. You're about to attack us. Uh, I'll take that fight. Master conjuration. We can now summon a Daedric army. Can I summon that on ourselves right now? Nope. I don't have nearly enough. Um, Wait, how am I losing Magicka? I must be losing it per month or something. Yeah, I must be losing it per month. Due to the rituals I have. We won. Uh, 600 to 3,000. Uh, 3, cool. Head back. Alright, we just got walk back for money. Nice. Level of Splendor went up again. So our level of Splendor is now well known. Uh, we can disband these troops. And we got more development growth back to our lands. Wonderful. Right. And now we chill. Ransom. Uh, you would like me to pay 20 gold for my great-grandson. Yeah, seems acceptable. Yeah. Um, you're in my court. You're being educated? No. You need to be educated by somebody who's got... Oh, I can choose people who aren't just my culture as well here. There we go. Somebody who's got some level of intrigue knowledge, I guess. It's also smart. Is there anyone? Um, no. 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 My, my court has no smart people in it at all. That's what I'm figuring out here. Nobody is smart here. There you go. Shrewd. That'll do. Not not a an inherited trait. Just a, uh, <laughs> you know, a trait that you can get through um, lifestyle. But that's okay. Wait for our troops to reinforce. Should probably do some more building. You got another inspiration. What do you want to do? You want to go to Valem Woods? I mean, that seems like, you know, a possible thing to do, given that we're there. Uh, nothing here. What do I need here? I need the Burr's innovation. Okay. Let's do a quick check of everything. This one can be upgraded to the next level. That's fine. Check the lower holdings. Oh yeah, like check the lower holdings on everything. Yeah, some of them are still building. Okay, that's fine. Here we can build in the city that we just created. Uh, why can I not build here? This popular opinion is too low. That's fair enough. Uh, how's control looking? Control is a hundred. That's fine. That's all I need to know. That's not my land. So that would explain why I can't upgrade it. I not upgrade it just in the, uh, you know, because we're going to get it soon. No, okay. I've, oh, wait, there was one in here. There we go. We can upgrade that one. These two were where I stopped last time looking at everything. Yeah, we can upgrade that one. Green Hill. Oh, wait, there was one in here. Upgrade the Bards Academy again. Yeah, so it lets you build one academy. I see. And then that's it done. So when people are saying you might be able to send your children there, there might be some logic behind that, potentially, because you've created an academy. Maybe it just spawns courtiers or something. I don't know. I, I literally, when I say I don't know, I mean I literally have no idea, and I'm just guessing based on name, which is obviously not good. Uh, apparently what you want to say here is bring me something that's, um, yeah, bring me something weird or something something that's always uh, something you cannot find because they'll always bring you back something interesting I, I think that's what you all you do i can't remember people were saying in the comments which one you choose that's okay men at arms are a little bit cheaper ours are now fully up here they cost us nothing as well for unra wait do they have no maintenance cost wow well that's um certainly interesting 
Can I create more of them? No, so you can only create one stack. That explains why they're so good as well. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's all okay. How are you, how are you looking? You're still the exact same uh, thing? I already converted your religion. Yeah, yeah, so it's just your culture. I, I don't like that you're the exact same as when we last saw you, though. So these are just not converting at all. Interesting. So I wonder whether they're meant when they're meant to convert. Yeah, I don't know. I don't use it too often. Our land's not actually split like that, right? No, I was just zoomed in. That's okay. Cool. Right. With that, I'm going to end the episode that... Wow, they're, they're large. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.